it's on. New year, new grind. I got a question for you. Are you living life? Or is life living you? How bad do you want to be successful? Are you ready to level up in life? Are you ready to go to that next level? Are you sick of being average? I ask you again, are you living life? Or is life living you? Less than unstoppable. The International World Tour. Dr. Billy Brooks, coming to a city near you. I'll be teaching a four hour, life changing seminar on the art of greatness. Arise, champion. Every city will sell out. Get your tickets now. This year we're taking this thing global. 27 cities, Toronto, London, Paris, Rome. We're coming to impact one billion people. If you are serious about success, be at one of these events. Get your tickets now at blessedandunstoppable.com. No longer shall my eternal spirit succumb to flesh. With the knives of discipline, I shall kill off the old me and give birth to the Superman. 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 Killed off the old me, Superman, Superman. I killed off the old me, Superman, Superman. I killed off the old me, Superman, Superman. I killed off the old me. In the Superman movies, the worst mistake that Superman made was not killing off Clark Kent. To go to the next level, we must be willing to murder the lesser version of ourselves. Those who want to be massively successful must first take their mind and beliefs to the guillotine. Nietzsche said, you must be ready to burn yourself in your own flame. How could you arise anew if you have not first become ashes? Set yourself on fire. And the world will come see you burn Some people who could lead the world Are too addicted to being loved by others to actually do it Somebody needs to hear this You gotta stop playing small, timid and scared Because you're worried about what other people are gonna think If your pursuit of greatness makes them uncomfortable Then that just disqualifies them from being in your future There's two choices You can either have their approval Or you can have greatness As for me and my Those that burn will eventually slay the dog. The awakened one dreams away his life, unhindered by the world's illusions of limitations. He is fully conscious of his inner power to mold and shape the seen world. His dreams and creative imagination become the commands that dictate to the physical realm. Reality responds obediently to the desires thrust upon it, manifesting the grand will of the enlightened mind. Reject the old and give birth to the new. Clarity is the monster that devours all competition. I see myself with such penetrating awareness that it makes my dreams inevitable. Those that burn will eventually slay the dog. Superman! 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 I killed off the old me. Superman! Self-awareness requires trading in one's mortal eyes for eternal ones. And with these eyes, no matter which way one looks, all that one can see is God. Superman! The common man sees greatness as something to achieve, as if greatness is an accomplishment. But the enlightened one, the Superman, understands that greatness is an identity. Life is constantly shifting to align with your acknowledged identity. Which version of you are you projecting to the world? To the sky, Superman! For too long I drifted back and forth between the lesser me and the greater me. These two states have always been at war with one another, fighting over my destiny. Until finally I became an assassin and murdered the inferior version of me. That timid and scared state of existence, worried too much about what the world thought of me. I sought their approval. Greatness. 
resides at the bottom of insanity. One must be willing to dive into the belly of madness to swim in the impossible. I left the herd and embraced the madness. You took my meekness for weakness. You thought because I granted you access that you had actually done something to earn it. Looking back at my life, I had a divine revelation. Every time somebody hurt me, it was because I allowed it. Every loss, defeat, and disappointment that I experienced, I allowed it. For so long in my life, I let the world tell me that I wasn't good enough. I had a mirror problem. The insecurities blocked my mind from seeing that I was fearfully and wonderfully made. I couldn't understand why my whole life I felt like I was outside the circle. I hated being different. I felt like nobody understood me. But one day I got divine revelation. Why should mere mortals understand the ways of the supernatural? Why should small town people understand the language of global ambitions? Why should sheep, why should the herd understand the ways of kings? Why should lukewarm people understand the ancient language of fire? Why should cowards understand the bravery of a warrior? Why should mortals understand the language of immortality? My mistake was thinking that the common person could spell the word legend. I had to be willing to go to the cross and crucify the lesser version of me. My whole life I had this potential, but never made the decision to go all the way. Finally, I dove deep under the shadows of truth and wisdom, where none of my adversaries could find me. The spirit said to me, greatness always runs contrary to the natural urges and desires of the flesh. I discipline my body and make it my slave so that after I have preached to others, I myself will not be disqualified. Billy Owls Brooks, AKA Superman. 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 I killed off the old me. 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 The dead ghosts of museum walls haunt my pages. I hear them taunting those who were blind to that genius. These hydras now bury them in the holes of the establishment. My hands long to drip Jackson truth upon the minds of babies. Why should dead souls prevent the alive from living? Why should old money crush through ambition? Crippled eyes have no arms or legs. So why should we let them lead the revolution? We must pierce through the veils of illusions. The fire inside us must burn away their sheepish ignorance, feeling our memories. We must remember to feel that rejection cannot overcome our gorgeous rhythms. We must move towards our liberation from boundaries. Let us rise above and storm the bastions of tradition. God bless the critic who has mastered criticism, but let us not make apologies for glowing. Rebels of the aesthetic. I live in the sky, Superman. Those who believe in limitations have succumbed to the madness of illusions. Those who desire to be uncommon must first deal with the insanity of their common sense. The master key that unlocks all bondage is hidden in the mind of the one who thinks he's enslaved. These words are dangerous. I'm in war with the establishment. I am the voice for those that have none. God still moves. Dr. Billy Owls books, and I am. Blessed and unstoppable. Motivational art. Welcome to the Lou. Impact one billion. And to God be the glory. Superman. Superman. Dr. Billy Osbrook. I killed off the old me. Superman. Superman. Immortal legend. I killed off the old me. Superman. Superman. Blessed and unstoppable. I killed off the old me. Superman. True music. I killed off the old me. If you spent as much time learning how to write a business plan as you did that new TikTok dance, you'd already be on that next level. Broken focus is the number one reason for failure. There's a price required for greatness. 
You have to hold every second of your life accountable to producing greatness. You gotta establish the environment that gives birth to success. Elon Musk said, nobody ever changed the world with a 40 hour work week. Some weeks he's working 120 hours which allows him to do in four months what it takes other people to do in a year. Now he's able to do this because he's in the center of his calling. He is doing what he was assigned to do. And inside that calling, you will find strength and power that cannot be found elsewhere. Working 120 hours a week doesn't make sense to the common person who's working a job they were never designed to do. But when you're in your calling, your passion, doing the things that set you on fire, the clock becomes the enemy. This guy don't even want to go to sleep at night what he is doing but that's why when mankind touches down for the first time on mars he will have gotten there on an elon musk rocket long live the wild beast have a dream and don't let nobody tell you that you can't do what god put inside you long live the wild beast smash the rules of complacent fools who cling to the comfort of yesterday long live the wild beast success is governed by the law of supply and demand. The universe will supply whatever your faith demands. What are you demanding of life? Where are you settling where you shouldn't be settling? Now complacency is the device of the enemy. Complacency is an adversary of greatness. It is the opposition and it is warring every single day over your future. Stop having affairs with average. I read this profound article on Michael Jordan. Now Jordan said, winning has a price. Leadership has a price, so I pulled along people where they didn't want to be pulled. I challenged people where they didn't want to be challenged. I earned the right because my teammates who came after me didn't endure all the things that I endured. Once you joined the team, you lived at a certain standard that I played the game, and I wasn't going to take any less. Now many people criticize Michael Jordan's ruthless approach to the game, but that standard that he put in place allowed Chicago to win six titles in eight years. Success has a price. Are you willing to pay it? I remember a few years ago watching this workout clip from NFL running back Derrick Henry. It was the summer of his junior year at the University of Alabama. The video showed him behind this F-150 pushing a truck around the track. And another clip showed him pulling that truck around the track. The whole track. The coaches weren't out there making him do that. He was doing it on his own. That's why he went on that year to win the Heisman Trophy. That's why last year he won the NFL rushing title. This guy had an NFL work ethic back Last fall, I was out in L.A. at the L.A. Charger training facility. The staff member told me that some of the coaches get there at 4 in the morning. And if they're lucky, they get out of there at 10 at night. To go to that next level, you gotta be devoted. You gotta be committed. You gotta be disciplined. You gotta be 120 only in pursuing your dream. The legend Kobe Bryant, his team practice used to start at 7 a.m. But every morning he got to the gym at 4 a.m. and put a three-hour workout in before everybody else got there. It was the sweat that made him a legend. Now I want you to dream big. But you got to remember that your work ethic must match the size of your ambition. Write this question down. Am I willing to pay the price to become the person that I want to be? For a dream to come alive, one must have absolute conviction that it will. To waver the slightest in belief is to put the dream in jeopardy of abortion. Don't you ever give up on that dream. The truth is the universal vaccine for all situations. The truth is you have a champion inside of you and that champion is screaming to be unleashed. Don't wake the savage. If you spent as much time learning how to write a business plan as you did that new TikTok dance, you'd already be on that next level. Broken focus is the number one reason for failure. There's a price required for greatness. You have to hold every second of your life accountable to producing greatness. Are you willing to pay the price? Long live the wild beast. Have a dream. And don't let nobody tell you that you can't do what God put inside you. Long live the wild beast. Smash the rules of complacent fools who cling to the comfort of yesterday. Long live the wild beast. Wild beasts are the bold thinkers imagining tomorrow. They usher in the revolution of dreams. Ambassadors of anarchy smashing the rules that no longer serve us. Misunderstood by the masses, they are fluent in the language of genius. Warring with complacent fools who cling to the glory of yesterday. They are interior designers constructing life from the inside out. It will take years for the world to fully understand the wild beasts and their ways. They envision what could be, what others couldn't see with mortal eyes. Daring and bold vagabonds seeking refuge in the shadows of tomorrow. History will vindicate their courage to imagine.
Legend. They wrestle violently with the bandits of small time thinking. Madness of ingenuity, stubborn enough to take a stand. They are the masters of innovation, orchestrating the concertos of uprising. They are the radical, defiant rebels, armed with dangerous new thinking, articulating ideas well before their time. Blind. Long live the wild beast. Dare to dream. And don't let nobody tell you that you can't do what God put inside you. Long live the wild beast. Smash the rules of complacent fools who cling to the comfort of yesterday. Long live the wild beast. Ruthless dreams opposed in reality. Coup d'etat started by the imagination. Visions revolting. They scream down with the status quo. Riding into battle on Napoleon's gray horse. Married to the one that thinks differently. She was the apple in Steve Jobs' eyes. Breathing liberation, imagining Nirvana. The death of madness shattering their lives. They are culture terrorists, inviting explosion. Corrupted lenses distorting our perceptions. The Western Bin Ladens destroying convention. Strap bombs of enlightenment on their chests. Audacious blueprints, architects of truth, pirates of creativity, conspiring with gorillas, painting portraits of change and human progress, overthrowing the ways of the current order. They are the bold thinkers, imagining tomorrow, ushering in the revolution of dreams, ambassadors of anarchy, smashing the rules that no longer serve us. Long live the wild beast, had a dream. And don't let nobody tell you that you can't do what God put inside you. Long live the wild beast. Smash the rules of complacent fools who cling to the comfort of yesterday. Long live the wild beast. Are you willing to pay the price? I dare you to think different. I dare you to dream bigger. I dare you to pursue that greatness that's on the inside of you. Study and learn all the laws to success and then smash. Don't be scared to be you. Boldly pursue that which is on the inside of you. Put the stand in a place that produces greatness and go out there in the world and conquer. Long live the wild beast. This is Dr. Billy Oldsbrooks. And I am blessed and unstoppable. Impact one billion people. Motivational art. Welcome to the loop. Now let's close with the word. Acts 2 17. In the last days, God says, I will pour out my spirit on all people. Your sons and daughters will prophesy. Your young men will see visions. Your old men will dream dreams. Ryan City. And to God be the glory. Blessed and unstoppable. Success starts with putting the right things into your mind. My new book, Blessed and Unstoppable, was strategically designed to align your mind with the laws of success. This curriculum will teach you the inner mechanics required to go from average to phenomenal, from living a life with limits to being blessed and unstoppable. As you follow this guide step by step, amazing breakthroughs will happen, new doors of opportunity will open, and favor will begin to chase you down. Blessed and Unstoppable is a 31-day devotional on the laws of success. This book will instigate the thought process and actions required to transform your life. Each day has a Bible verse, a teaching on that day's principle, a positive affirmation, a prayer for the day, self-assessment questions, success quotes, action steps, and a powerful inspirational message. Regardless of what field you're in, Less than unstoppable is your blueprint for success. Get your copy at lessthanunstoppable.com. Also available on Amazon. The struggle is real, but you know you were meant for more. That dream that's on the inside of you just won't shut up. Cause you know you were meant for more You've always been different They never understood you They've always doubted you Cause you're different But you know something that they don't know You know to be successful you cannot follow the masses You gotta be different And you are bold enough to be you You've always been different Success ain't for everybody B7U clothing Wear your identity